Hey fun fans, Tyler here. We're getting close to reaching 1 million views on YouTube, and to help us celebrate 254, the Cheesy Poofs has provided us an awesome t-shirt to give away. All you have to do to be entered is to be a YouTube subscriber, and let us know in the comments which team you're from. You can enter once in every YouTube video uploaded through the month of September, so make sure you comment below. Hey everybody, uh, welcome. Hopefully you got a chance to see the uh, FRC Infinite Recharge trailer. Man, say that five times fast. Uh, <laughs> Infinite Recharge trailer, there you go. Uh, what we're going to be doing here today is just some reactions to it. We have uh, Christine and Connor here, who will have introduced themselves in a second. Uh, they really haven't had a chance to see it yet. I, we kind of recorded it. Uh, we're going to bring it on for them, get their reactions, and then kind of break some stuff down uh, through this. So, chat, we really need your help for things. Uh, we want you to point out maybe strange things that you saw uh, that we can put up uh, uh, through chat, and we'll talk about that on air. Uh, so we need your help with this as well, too. So let's introduce uh, the two people we have on. Christine, starting with you. Hey, guys. Um, I'm Christine. I'm on 125, and yeah, glad to be here again tonight. Yeah, Christine's uh, pulling two nights in a week, so extra duty for that so far. How about you, Connor? Hey, guys, I'm Connor McBride. I'm the uh, lead CAD mentor, drive coach for 166 and Northeast Region Recap here on Fun. Absolutely. A um, couple things we're going to announce. We do have a couple giveaways for tonight uh, from our friends, the thriftybot.com. They're giving away a cool uh, swag pack of two each of these. They have the thrifty bushing. Uh, the, well, let's not go to check out. Apparently I didn't load. There we go. The uh, aluminum half inch hex bore split clamping collar. Man, people with their alliteration of names. Uh, they have a <laughs> pair of those. Uh, and then also as well, a pair of the half inch. Uh, hex bearing uh, we're actually going to start the first giveaway just right away uh, we had two sets of these to give out uh and uh christine what we're we gonna do i think BB yeah eight, our, right? yeah bb8 so bb-8 all right so bb8 is going to be the uh, keyword for that if you're interested in uh getting right we jump into stuff right away guys none of us like all this pre stuff <laughs> let's just start doing giveaways right and uh so bb-8 uh is the keyword to get in don't forget you have to make sure you click that little follow button if you're not following first updates now uh or if you choose to for just a few bucks a month uh you can help uh, subscribe and uh, keep fun loud live and independent it's only a few bucks a month it's actually half price right now for a tier one sub or if you or your parents have amazon prime uh the equivalent to twitch prime you get a free sub and we'd love to have it used here thank you so much everybody for that so so we're going to jump right in. Uh, we'll have people on screen here. We're going to show off the trailer, and then we're going to break it down for you. Uh, we're not going to have any noise or audio in the background because I'd like to have Christine and Connor uh, talk about it as we go through. So let's take a look. This is like Mystery Science Theater 3000 going on here, right? Yeah. So let's talk about it in the background. So what do, you, what do you guys think about these graphics to start out with? At first I thought it was just my computer being lousy, but... It like brings me back to uh, the good old days of not super nice like video games and stuff. I kind of like the pastel colors a little bit, but yeah, me too. Kind of reminds me of the animated series of uh, Star Wars Clone Wars. Yeah, from oh, yeah. yeah, ten years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> from ten. So years on ago. the <laughs> ground here, there's like all these like blue lines. I'm wondering like, is there going to be vision tracking stuff that we're going to have oh. to follow? And there's like. These buildings. I uh, you know, flying game games. drums. Yeah. But look, they're going into that thing. That and that's gotta be something right to there. Charge. Right. That reactor or something they just Yeah. And that, that person has in their hand. Yeah. Are we getting like the remote controls like what was it, two thousand and nine? <laughs> Human players are just gonna stand in the okay. corner of the, the 2000, remote. 2008, like, yeah. Eight, yeah. <laughs> um All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay so let, let's just go through some first impressions here then we're actually going to jump back in and chat if you don't mind uh tag us at first updates now uh with your comments on it so we can read those off on air if you notice anything kind of interesting uh make sure you take our first updates now so that pops up for us and other hosts i'm going to ask for your help to kind of uh grab uh some of those as well too as we're going through so uh so initial thoughts so, christine about the trailer what, what do you think about it so, so far? crobin son says vr question mark question mark and that's oh. a that's a good point like i didn't even think of that so we haven't seen too much vr yet like last year first introduced it so we could go and like experience the field and stuff at kickoff but maybe they're going to integrate it even further and there was kind of that element last year of the sandstorm period where you know we were the the vision was kind of blocked from the driver so i'm wondering if they're going to continue on with some sort of like altering your ability to see during some segment of the um game and this was the first uh, teaser i feel like that didn't have people in the 
like in the animation maybe like I, sure. I could be totally wrong but it just seems really different than the last well, few years I don't think the one you're, you're very correct on that the, the last year the one from last year of people I think it was just like a bunch of alerts and stuff going up in the space station wasn't it when the but, alerts were going off there were some people running through the base I remember yeah that. Oh. yeah the only like form of humans we saw was like the the hand holding that like remote or whatever it was okay so a couple of uh, comments uh, from chat here that we'll kind of go through. Uh, somebody says BBA flipped us off. So, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> Thumbs up, flip off, you know, however you go without it. Uh, Muthu uh, agrees with you, Christine. Could be a Sandstorm Endgame again or something mm -hmm. uh, like that. Uh, Cobalt Treason says the shadow at the end was a spherical object. So I'm going to write that down. So shadow at Ooh. the end because we'll come back to that. Yeah, we're going to kind of we're going to break this down a, a little bit and analyze each thing. Um, Python guy says, I think the fuel cell uh, the main character is holding could be a game piece. I totally agree. I totally they you know, when you look for like cues on like teasers and trailers and let's just bring this back up and let it run in the background as we're talking a little bit. Always look at things that they just kind of hold the shots on just a little bit too long. Right. That's usually yeah. a pretty good indicator about what's going on something i want to ask you guys though uh and i don't know how much you've seen of skystone the ftc game this year is the skystone game doesn't really do much with star wars at all i mean are we expecting anything really for frc with star wars or is it just kind of like here like you know uh force for change is supporting first uh but you know and they can use our stuff kind of in the background i mean are we going to see a bb-8 on the field or something like that uh, fingers crossed on BB on the field, but I'm wondering, like, I, I do think that FRC has been kind of the main stage for some of these themes and partnerships that first is developing. And I think that maybe this year FRC hopefully will be a little more, um, like heavy handed with the star Wars stuff. Um, I mean, we do have the, the like vision targets or whatever, um, on the FTC field, that's different star Wars characters. So I mean, they're there. It's just not super integrated into the game. So mm -hmm. um, I think somebody in chat had mentioned in the very beginning, I don't know if you had already said this, I'm kind of tired, but the yeah. yellow circle that's hanging um, in the beginning of the teaser clip, that seems like kind of some sort of vision target. Or I'm wondering, like, that blimp thing. I mean, obviously it's not a blimp. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the, like, blimp thing that's, like, flying by had, like, that, like, red right, right screen there, thing. Right. Like, oh, I, that's got to yeah. be something. Well, I don't know. Let's take a look at that real quick. So... Yeah, see the yellow like circle there. I feel like is some sort of vision target. Okay, so like so like the one that it kind of oh, goes really too. quick, like right right here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then go a little further and let it pan up to the left. Okay. There's like a, a a lever thing. Hold okay. on, and there, like see? right like right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. That looks too different. Like if you look at those two elements in the graphics, they definitely stand out a lot more. Like that teal is like way more saturated. The yellow is like way more saturated so those two things stand out to me like like they are just kind of out of place compared to the rest of the stuff going on kind of what are your thoughts on that what about uh, anything star wars thing we're going to see uh uh in infinite recharge i mean probably i mean like you had said um like the themes normally come out in the frc games um if anyone has seen the fl game i really haven't taken a look at it i don't know if there's any uh star wars stuff in there um but i what really caught me, uh, caught my mind, was that there's this big shadow that kind of goes over BB-8 at the end of the video. Okay. Um, maybe, and it looked like it was something that was flying. Maybe we're seeing a return of airships or something like that. Um, coming back from uh, 2017 Steamworks. Mm. Um, there was or maybe we're... What was that? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, this person in the chat, uh, Nononian. I believe uh, I bet we are going to have to try and bring something to that energy cell type contraption. So, yeah, so right that's there. this thing, right? I was gonna, yeah. I was gonna ask, like, what, what is this? Like, it is called infinite recharge, right? And we're seeing kind of a, a blinky, uh, you know, the blinky lights happen right there. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, well, we it's... saw that thing earlier in the teaser, right? Like, it was yeah. on well, top yeah. of something. What if, what if the top had that small opening and we had to shoot uh, small balls into the top of it? Uh, you know, and and it, it had to be with no no backboard or anything, just straight straight in. Hey, then my team is all set. <laughs> <laughs> Can skip the whole iteration thing. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm curious what 
what we'll have to do to kind of like recharge that thing. Um, and if yeah, that's going to be like so the you're, you're talking of about the, the thing in the person's hand too, right? Or are you talking about the main pylon? Uh, I'm I'm talking about the the beehive looking thing. Sure, sure, sure. Um, I have another one. I got a text from uh, Luke Anderson over at fifty eight thirteen Morpheus. Uh, the first two things in the trailer translate to first city and threat detected. Let's take a look here. Ooh, threat detected. Again, this year. <laughs> okay, so so you're talking about the stuff that's in whatever alien language this is in? It's like right oh, here? Oh, yeah. I guess. Um, hey, or is Luke, it the red thing? Um, if you are in chat right now, can you... Uh, yeah. do you is that like a language or something? Th this has got to be threat detected. Yeah. It, it, is okay. a, it is a Star Wars language. I just don't know what it... Like, I'm, I'm not that much into where i know exactly what oh, yeah what is that about. what's that one say? that's got to be threat detected because it's in red right yeah yeah so that's Ooh. that's that's pretty interesting hmm. and what is so what I'm is what is this what does this translate to oh oh wait that's the so the blue symbol that's the resistance right uh what symbol the so go back a little bit okay. uh yeah so um it's the that one yep oh this yeah, yeah yeah yep yeah so is one side gonna be the, like the uh the empire or the first order or something like that oh that could be so cool like red alliance okay, I, blue. I would be totally down oh. if that happened i'd be totally down for that but I, everybody yeah, I you know what everybody's gonna want to be on the red alliance finally that's actually why why, <laughs> why i mean red alliance is always the higher c but everybody likes the blue better right so Always blue. Yeah, Always I mean, what survived? The bluelines.com or the redalliance.com? Just so. oh, I like it. I'm wondering. So, in the last few years, I feel like the way that team or the areas that teams have been scoring in have been really kind of moving all over the place. Like 2016 was pretty similar to this past year, where you know your main scoring area was kind of up against something like the player station. Mm -hmm. um, and then in 2017, you know, it was kind of similar to this past year as well, where, you know, there was something in the center of the field, but then there were things off in the corners. Um, so I'm wondering, like, if they're going to continue with that variation of, like, you know, part of your line should be doing something in the center of the field. And then, you know, there's diversified roles, like, off to the side. Um, I'm curious to see how they kind of section the field off this year, if at all. Or maybe it'll be a free for all. Like what was it, twenty fourteen? Things yeah. could get wild again. Uh, something I want to point out, and a couple of people in, in chat had mentioned this, is that there's uh, this part right here. How many ships do we see? Um... Four ships, and four ships dock in that way as well too. There's got to be something with that, right? Is that uh, I know uh, Matthew put in there that possible four cells needed for a full charge. There's a couple other things with four. Could it mean four robots? Uh, between these as well, can we see a four robot alliance finally? What do you guys think about that? Any possibilities of that? No, because then they'd <laughs> have to buy new fields. <laughs> <laughs> not if you have a smaller robot. Ain't nobody got money for that. that. I'm sorry. Have you they're, got, not, I mean, they're not doing that. For those who have been in this long enough, have you looked at a robot from like this past year versus a robot from like 2012 or something like that? Like the sizes between them, like literally, like. Uh, the 2012 robot team I used to be on is like double the size of it, of it just because, really? yeah. Oh yeah. From the, uh, I mean, same, same weight, but yeah. Cause what year was that? It was like, uh, that was the Frisbee. 20, yeah. No, no, no. But no, that was basketball. Oh no but, basketball. Sorry. But I'm saying like in like 2016 or 2017, they kind of shrunk down the sizes again, I think, didn't they? Um, it might've been 2013 even. I don't quite remember, but, uh, um... man, it's just interesting. Yeah, 2013, we saw a lot of tall robots. Like, you weren't really able to break out of your, like, configuration that much. So we've seen a lot of, like, variation in, like, your starting configuration versus, like, how tall you can be um, during certain parts of the matches. So that'll be interesting. I don't think they're going to move to four um, teams on an alliance because that would just be nuts trying to, like, if FMS didn't work yeah. that well. This past year with three and right. cameras, God only knows no what cameras. four on each side. No yeah. cameras and robots anymore. But maybe. So a chat, lot of people in chat. what you think, by the way. Yeah, chat's talking a lot about, like, VR autonomous and stuff. That could be really cool. Ooh. Yeah, somebody mentions there's four four bars on the four cell. Four bars on the cell, too. yeah. That was the same person that gave their team a shout-out for winning Maze Craze in 92. Way to go. Okay. Yeah, maybe a, a, return, a return of the, uh, of the Xbox Connect. 
from uh, oh 2012. Gosh, I, yeah, I no. hope so. <laughs> I mean, only only for the 254 memes, maybe. Yes. But... Yeah. Yes. But by the way, I'm I am in the background of that oh. a couple times. So. Look at that like big shadow that came over. You like see, what? Seen at the end. Yeah. Uh, what do we think that is? On, we'll take a look. We'll go. We'll go in the front here. So you're talking about talking about this part, right? Um, let's see. And I know somebody mentioned in chat that Frank kind of specifically mentioned that. Um, I mean, definitely spherical, right? So what do we think spherical in Star Wars is? The uh, Death Star. Yeah, right? Or, 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 or uh, uh, Star Killer Base or whatever stupid ripoff happened in the uh, episode hey. seven. But episode oh. seven was still good. Don't get me wrong. But I always thought that yeah. was really dumb. Apparently, right after the teaser, Frank said something about it. He said, and boy, I love that ending with the little dark shadow coming over. Hmm. May not know what the what that is, but it's going to be something exciting. I'm telling you. How does Frank not know what it is? Isn't he the director of FRC? He's also the biggest troll in the world. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> he actually really does like pineapple and pizza. Yeah, <laughs> you hate to see it. You know. Uh, hey, chat. We're going to roll for our first giveaway. Uh, actually, uh, as we go through, um, begin because we got another set to, to do as well too. Uh, so once again, these are from our friends, the thriftybot.com. Go check it out. Uh, they have uh, just ridiculously cheap. They only have four products right now. I think they're getting a fifth, but they're ridiculously uh, cost efficient and high quality at the same time. Uh, a a long time friend of the show, Ryan Donio. Uh, this is his shop on here. Uh, so BB-8 was oh. the uh, keyword you had to type in for that. And the uh, winner uh, is Gray Phantom Delta. Congratulations. Rigged. Rigged. Yes. Lots of rigged emotes in chat. If you're new to the channel, by the way, uh, a subscriber has won, which means that we clearly rigged it for our subscribers because our subscribers get extra luck. So you want to see lots of those rigged emotes in chat. Uh, thanks again to thriftybot.com uh, for doing that. Um, and for the second giveaway, um, we're actually going to just take, uh, we're going to randomly draw a comment uh, from chat. So, uh, if you have comments you'd like to uh, read on the air, uh, that sort of thing, uh, just type it in, and we're, uh, we're going to pick one of the comments out of chat for the next set of giveaways. So make sure you tag out first updates now to be eligible for that. Uh, once again, uh, for the thriftybot.com uh, for that. And, yes, lots of lots of rigged emotes. So. And, by the way, thanks to everybody who is uh, subscribing and following. We do always read off our followers uh, or our new subscribers, I should say, and people who have donated bits at the end of the stream. Uh, so we'll make sure we get to those as well. But thank you. Uh, if you're not familiar with fun, just real quick elevator pitch because we get sometimes new people in with this. Uh, we're an independent uh, web show network uh, that creates stuff around, typically around FRC, FT. Uh, but we absolutely love to have you come in. Uh, we do shows every single week of the year, nonstop. Love to have you in. Make sure you check out our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. So, so Rooster2655 says that first updates now. God, I hope they don't bring back time-based scoring. I agree with you. Mm. One thing to keep in mind is that when the game was first being designed, the team that worked on Power Up started this game. So most learnings from 2019 would not have been incorporated. They had also just seen 254 go undefeated. So maybe a heavier emphasis on two different robot configurations, question mark, uh, would explain the anti-cheesecake rules, maybe. I think that they would definitely be able to take into consideration the, the learnings from 2019 to kind of tweak this one because i know we've had guests on that um were on the game design review committee and they talked about their experience and that's like done pretty close to this time of year maybe a little earlier but they typically get the feedback from the people in the community that review the game and the game manual and then make some slight changes obviously they're not going to like change the entire field or like whatever game pieces they have on order with whatever companies sure. but um, I do think that whatever feedback or input was kind of given or learned from this past season will be somewhat applied to that. I really hope there's not time-based scoring. I hated that. <laughs> I just want to jump in here real quick. Uh, we had uh, the chat, Mr. Train Cow uh, posted an on Chief Delphi uh, translation uh, for the scripts Ooh. as well, too. So you can kind of see what corresponds to what. So he says uh, the first string says first city. Uh, I don't, it doesn't say the second string though. So I don't know if this is first and this is city maybe, or something like that. When they say first string, um, I guess I was thinking first line. So, and then threat detected, uh, and then this says authorized personnel only. Uh, so and go over the, go over the thoughts. There's a nice, uh, uh, nice, uh, thread going on right now in chief Delphi for that as well too. So, uh, yeah, thanks for, uh, letting us know about that train count. Thanks for putting that on, 
uh, CD. Cool stuff. Uh, Fielder comments, uh, easy as pie. Uh, commenting uh, on there, I think uh, there'll be some sort of spinning something on the wall like R2-D2 was doing in the beginning. Maybe. Uh, the Python guy, you can clearly see a wing on the shadow in the last frame of it. Let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, so the last, last frame. Let's go all the way up here. That's the last frame. I can't really do frame by frame, so where's this wing? Up here maybe or something? I'm not quite sure. I don't know, guys. If you got a picture, send it, send it to us. Sometimes it's, uh, it's a little tough to catch some of these uh, on there as well. What other comments do we have in chat right now? Um, I don't know how to pronounce this person's name, but we see towards the middle of the teaser that the character we're following in first person goes through a tunnel to get to the other side of the city. Is it possible we see some sort of covered passage in the middle of the field with restricted vision to make teams use only vision to score some sort of points in the tunnel. I mean, I don't maybe. What do you, yeah, what do you think? <laughs> I mean, I th these are all maybes. I think that's a, a that could be definitely something that could happen, uh, for sure. Mm. So I mean, well, we've had tunnels before, twenty ten. Yeah. Oh god, that game was poopy too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, we, we did. Oh here. yeah, we did. Um, I'm trying to think back to like last year's trailer and what actually came of it. Like, I mean, the sandstorm, obviously, mm -hmm. but and like the rocket ship. And... Uh, some of the game pieces and stuff were in there, kind of, but like skinned a different color. Yeah. Uh, so that that could be true. Uh, you know, and as a, as a good follow up, uh, FRC seventy forty three says, uh, "Do you like this trailer better than last year's? What are you guys' thoughts on this year's trailer versus last year's trailer?" I mean, BB is in it, so yep. <laughs> so you're a yes, Connor. How about yourself? Yeah, I'm biased towards this. I love Star Wars. See, okay, that's actually why I don't like it, and I love Star Wars. Uh, but I feel like they're just pushing it so hard down our throats right now, like. Like, I get it, Star Wars, that totally makes sense. But if you make a game that doesn't have a bunch of Star Wars in it, I'm going to be pissed. Because, yeah. like, if you're showing me this much Star Wars, you better put some damn Star Wars in it. So, I mean, in, in which then I feel bad for the FTC peeps because there's, like, nothing about Star Wars uh, other than the, I think, the little, uh, 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 the Skystone picture, pictographs might have something uh, like that on it. So, it, I, I don't know. It could be interesting. Uh, comment from uh, No uh, Onion. Uh, I just realized a large power cell is charging all four bars. Maybe it shows the small cell, which is needed to fuel the medium cell, and then that the uh, then that to fuel the large kind of cell, a series you need sixteen small cells to fuel the medium and four cells to fuel the large one, which is done in turn of the length and the process, especially since it shows each cell in a series, which would be pretty similar to twenty seventeen then a little bit, right, with the rotors, uh, kind of how mm -hmm. that worked. Um, so that, yeah, I, I mean, the, I think that's actually quite possible. Um, what do you guys think about uh, in the beginning? This uh, you kind of mentioned this earlier, I think, Christine. Like this uh, floor path, uh, right? Uh, will be coming up in a second here. This floor path that yeah. DBA is going to be following, uh, or once you get past, that's so kind of right here. Um, is there any sort of line following that might have to happen? I mean, we've had lines in previous years, I guess, so nothing that's too profound or anything. Possibly. Right? I mean, we hadn't we we hadn't seen lines that were necessarily used for following. In the past few years, up until this past year for Deep Space, um, so I mean, maybe they're maybe they're starting to branch off for teams to do different types of vision tracking yeah. or stuff like that. Yeah, I think that's quite possible. So I'm wondering too, like now that we're watching like the ending over and over, it's like once the ships went in, BB-8 was like, "It's all good," and then the the like the cell thing was like, "Blink." I don't know. Like, I think that the, the like, port thing or, like, the garage thing that the ships were flying into, like, that could be a hint oh. at putting things up somewhere. I and, mean, like... what if that's just what the uh, entryway of some sort of scoring device looks like? Like, you think, but, like, a ball has to go through here or something Yeah, or, like, like that, something. Because yeah. if you look at the shape of that, it's like a, it's like a pizza oven entry. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's as long as we don't have to game. build another elevator, I'm totally okay with that. You're not, not an elevator <laughs> man or what? We've built elevators on 166 the past two years. And, I mean, we've refined our design. So, I mean, it'll be pretty easy to implement it. True. But I just don't want to do it again. It's boring if you do it that many times in a row. 
That's fair. Um, hey, uh, Bryson Chat says, I'm not seeing any hints towards projectiles. I really miss projectile games. What do you think the odds that they'll have projectiles back? I think it's a possibility. There are all those like little target-looking things that were up high. Yeah, I agree with Christine on here. I'd, I'd be fine with that. That seems to kind of go in the natural progression a little bit, right? If you mm-hmm. like, Let's look back at our last few years. Like last year we had uh, – uh, what well, we had, we, we had medium sized balls, but you didn't really shoot them or anything like that. Uh, and well, I mean, what else was in last year? I'm already forgotten last year's game. It's out of my mind already, except don't the forget to panels. watch the good nights invitational this Saturday on first. Update. <laughs> nice plug. Yes. Hashtag. Well, yeah, we had, we had like a normal game piece last year. And then like that unusual hatch panel that had to be made. Like you couldn't just go, well, you could go out and buy them, but it wasn't a normal thing that you could just go and get at like Walmart. But then the year before that, all of our game pieces were mill crates, which for the most part was good unless you were an international team. Yeah, unless you're so, not from the United States. <laughs> yeah. I'm interested to see if there's multiple game pieces or if there's one game piece with like multiple objectives. Cause we've seen, I think what was it? 2018 was probably one of the first games in a while where, you know, there was only one game piece besides like 2016, but there was also the element of the defenses where you had to actively like interact with them and cross them to score points. So sure. I liked that a lot. I hope that they bring something like that back where, you know, there's, there's a lot of different things for your Alliance to be working on and you need you need everybody on your lines to contribute in order to actually be successful. And I think, you know, last year was kind of that way, but there were so many robots that were able to do both things really well. But in 2016, you physically couldn't be doing both at like a high efficient level. So it would be really cool to see kind of that element of 2016 brought into this 2020 infinite recharge game. I just want to read off a comment from uh, Jay Zapula. Uh, says, I have a good theory. If you go to the video and notice that the three white and black towers near the end of the video, the towers seem to power up and charge as the planes fly by. Uh, so I'd like to take a look at that. Is that, is that at this point? or It's hard to... You, if you guys put stuff in, let us know. Somebody says it's it's around the 30 seconds into the release. So let's take... I don't really have a timer here, but we might be able to see where this is approximately. Uh, also says it seems similar to 2019. I hope the handheld at the end isn't this year's game piece. So, I highly doubt that. Yeah. Uh, somebody wants to know: uh, Do we think that mini bots will be brought? Jake Bop says one eight one. Any chance for mini bots? As long as it's not uh, Tetrix powered. So sure. <laughs> but, or whatever we had to use back. What was that? 2011. Yeah. Something like that. Um, all right, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna start wrapping up here. We don't want to keep uh, people too long uh, as we go through. Uh, as we look at this game, uh, Connor, let's start with you. Uh, general, let, give me a prediction. A general prediction: what we're gonna see uh, for twenty twenty. I don't care how outrageous it is. So, I mean, I just really want to have a shooting game. Um, so, let's say we are going to have a shooting game. We're gonna shoot some sort of ball, um, and I'm hoping for a flat field. But uh, with the uh, with the hanger that they show in the end of the video, maybe I'm hoping that's our goal that I have to shoot into. Christine, how about yourself? Um, I think we're going to see some sort of, um, I think we're going to have a hybrid mode. I, I don't think it's going to be purely autonomous. Um, and I think there's going to be some sort of obstructed vision similar to last year. And I think there will be projectile game pieces and maybe an end game where you have to like, I don't know, get into something or onto something again. Yeah, that's, that's so my thought. I think something in mind is I, I don't think something similar to the Sandstorm period is going to go away. I think uh, overall, I think there was pretty good reception on that. So I'd be interested to see mm-hmm. what they do with it. I know somebody said maybe at the end or something, and, and that's possible. Uh, but I think that concept has opened up what used to be just autonomous to so many more teams this year. Uh, so I, I really, truly do think that that's going to stick around here. I'm on board. I think projectiles, I think, will be the way uh, we see this year. I mean, we did see it back in 2017. Uh, so, of course, there could be something else as well. Uh, but in 2017, let's be honest, projectiles were not 
you know, really the main focus until you got, you know, to higher levels of play, right? And I really like to see projectiles be the main focus again uh, in multiple projectiles. And last time really you've seen that is what, probably 2013 uh, for something. So uh, the targets in the beginning really do speak to me. I think there's going to be some sort of targets, and I think there's going to be some sort of way that, uh, to me specifically, when we see R2-D2 plug something in here, that mm -hmm. is an action a robot's going to have to do that's then going to charge this up somehow. So, like, the robot will have to deliver something similar. So, I I almost see it. Could it be some sort of weird reskin where it's similar elements to the Steamworks? I, I think so. I think that is quite possible uh, with this as well. So, we'll see as we go through. Uh, but, hey, uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us. We're going to draw for our last giveaway. Uh, man, we selected uh spaceman nick uh for the uh giveaway so congratulations spaceman nick uh by the way I, we did not read off the, this person's comment so i'll uh uh i'll read this through oh actually it's, it's kind of similar to what i just mentioned uh, at first up this <laughs> now when you see r2d2 he plugs in and charges a tower could there be an autonomous ftc helper that's like Ooh. many many body and, and plugged in together mm. uh that'd be interesting uh what do you guys think I don't know. I'd be okay with that. We have our first round of FTC students coming up to our team. So that'd be fun. There you go. Uh, so once again, Spaceman Nick, make sure you reach out uh, the fun on here. Hey, guys, thank you so much for uh, taking the time. We're going to hop off in just uh, a, a minute here. Uh, just a reminder, by the way, uh, this uh, weekend on Saturday, we have the Good Nights Invitational out of Michigan. Some top-tier teams, by the way, that are going to be competing there. So make sure you uh, – Check it out. Uh, go check out either, uh, of course, you can watch it directly here at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now uh, or at thebluealliance.com, whatever works best for you. But here's some teams uh, this weekend there. Uh, 33 Killer Bees, 862 Lightning Your Box, 910 Fully Freeze, Bedford Express, 1023. Uh, Bionic Blackhawks, Sherman's winner from a while ago. It's going to be there. Robojack is 3538. The Goon Squad, of course, uh, 3707 Brighton Techno Dogs, 5050 Cowtown Robotics. Guys, for an off-season event. This is, uh, again, pretty top tier here. So make sure you check it out uh, on Saturday with that. Uh, other than that, thank you to everybody who uh, stepped up uh, with their support. Uh, here we'll just read them off because we definitely appreciate uh, you guys for helping keep fun, loud, live, and independent. Uh, so that's going to be uh, Robot Golf with a Tier 1 sub. Demiser, 930, four months support. Thank you. G Eugene is back again with 16 months of support. Gray Phantom Delta, 5813, 21 months of support. Thanks a lot, man. And a winner, so not a bad deal. Deal. Hey, it's Leo uh, with 12 months support. Page 2067, prime sub, not the Onion uh, with the prime sub. LP uh, 737 with 300 bits. Uh, Rude 57 with four months support. Red Leader 342. Uh, nice name for this year's game, by the way. Uh, with 300 uh, bits. Uh, Origami Taco. That's a cool name. I probably mispronounced it, but I like it. Uh, with the prime sub and uh, Lino coming in uh, with 20 months of support. Uh, thank you, everybody, for keeping fun, loud, live, and independent. And don't forget. Uh, Check back here. Check on our Discord, discord.gg forward slash first updates. Now with that, we're going to hop off. Enjoy Infinite Recharge. Keep the speculations going. Uh, put it in Chief Delphi, in chat, in the FT, uh, FR, well, FTC uh, Reddit, probably not, but uh, FRC Reddit, FRC Discord, all those great places you can chat about things. Let's just keep the conversation going. We'll see you next time on Fun. Talk to you then. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.